Guys, we put on a clinic today. Oh man, clinic, absolute clinic. Limit out on the Kalisa. This is the first limit on the Kalisa. And it happened to be the Super Glow Sardine. Ain't one yet? No, I just got a bite. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> How's it going, man? Mm -hmm. Welcome back from Costa Rica. So, so you, uh, you got like two hours to fish? Is yeah, that on? I got till about nine-ish. Ready to rock? Ready to rock. All right, brother. I'm not throwing no lures to today. What? I'm throwing straight Carolina today. Guys, if you want to see that, definitely check out his video. It's linked below. But today we're here with uh, special guest Steve Jansen. Hi. Hi. <laughs> first timer. That's right. First time here on the surf, driving on the surf. That's the first time. And fishing on the surf over here. Really? And of course, the man, Good the myth, morning. the legend. We're here. <laughs> we're going to get him. We haven't been out for a while and ready to put the herd on the perch this morning. This will be our first winter session, yeah? Yes, sir. Huh? I haven't been out in a long time. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been in the surf since Monterey. That's crazy. Yeah, I've been busy. That Monterey trip was fly. But anyway, let's get in the water, guys. Let's do it. All right, here's what we're gonna go with. Just so that you know that it's all stock. Pulling it right out of the package right now. If you guys saw the last video, you guys already know what this is. There is a giveaway that ends December 14th, 2019. My last video is a giveaway, so if you haven't entered that yet, definitely check out that video and follow the instructions for a chance to win 10 of these. But if it's past the 14th, hope you still enjoy this video. We're continuing our testing out of this new lure. Let's get out there. There you go, got one. Oh yeah, got one on the Kalisa. Let's really test out these hooks, see how sharp they are. See if he swiped it or see if he actually went and got it. Doesn't feel big. Oh, he got it. He definitely got it. Oh, perfect. Probably combined on the eighth cast or so. Awesome, all stock. There it is. And it's still early, beautiful. First, well, third winter surf perch, right there. When I left the house, Veronica was like, catch me some surf perch. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep them today. Bob just said he's gonna switch to plastics. Normally I would wanna do this if we're gonna catch a striper or have a chance at it one, but it's not that time of year. Yeah. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> there it is. It was pristine until I dropped it in the sand. The first one, that'll put some, some meat on the rice. Yeet. All right, so Bob's throwing on his slider right now. All right, so simple Carolina rig, about a six foot leader. Yeah, six foot leader. Let's see how we do. Let's go. But yeah, no, we're on a mission today. We're <laughs> trying to catch some food. Thus, the screen name, Hook to Cook. We hook to cook. <laughs> so if you're, it's your first time here, guys, we love fishing the surf. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And again, if you're new here, check out the other stuff. We've got a long library of different videos you can enjoy. So what the, we're looking at is about 20, 30 yards out where that wave's gonna break right now. There's a bit of a sandbar and then a little trough that we're casting into. As it moves here, that trough gets less pronounced, but sometimes the fish like to stack up at the end of the sandbars because there's a flow that goes between the sandbar 
and the surf or the shore and it channels everything out that way and it spits it out so a lot of times these fish like to pick out what's shot out of that trough that's created with the sandbar and the shore so that's what we're targeting right now so i just casted to that sandbar and now i'm immediately in the trough at the end of the trough and i just keep repeating that process until you start to put together a pattern on exactly where that school is. There you go. Ooh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's got some really good head shakes. All right. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's a good fish. Uh, the line might have came back, or the bait might have came back and snagged him. He's coming in a little funny. Oh no! Definitely got him in the mouth. <laughs> oh no. Didn't get him in the mouth. Gosh, he's maybe another 11 incher. Actually, got him on the right above the eye socket, but he'll make it. I'll release them. Again, I, I try not to keep fish that aren't either mortally wounded or not caught in the mouth. So try not to keep them. It'll be tough to see, but right there where those waves breaking, there's a sandbar, but this is where the sandbar ends straight forward. So that's where I've been picking off these fish or at least getting bit. So we'll keep on casting into this area, but that's something to look out for when you're out fishing is look for those troughs that are nearby and kind of fish the ends of them if they're really close to shore. Because a lot of the times the sand crabs get spit out and the fish will wait for them there. Right there. All right, seems like the school moved off a little bit. The waves are breaking way far out there. Yeah, yeah, they are. There's sandbars. So we just moved to a new location. That other spot started changing rapidly on us and we weren't getting any bites. Getting a couple small nibbles, but we want stuff that'll inhale our baits. So we drove down the beach, tried to find a nicer pocket. And this is the best we can come up with right now. Definitely challenging. But we'll see what we can do. Ooh, got one. Oh, it's a nice one. Good move. Oh, it's a nice fish. Very nice fish. Got some decent head shakes. Ooh, come here. Solid fish. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah wow that's a good one <laughs> yes solid fish right in the corner of the mouth look at that all right don't do what i'm doing and hold the lure like this <laughs> but that's a good one yeah those trebles if if <laughs> had to drop them because those head shakes could have put those trebles in my hands. That's like a pound. That's a solid fish right there. It is. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. On that Kalisa Super Glow sardine. I like slowed down the retrieve and just really took my time and then he, he went and got it. So maybe it's a more subtle bite. Maybe if it was feeding right past her, it, she wouldn't have gotten it. But it yeah, it's a solid fish. Nice fish. Solid. Bob just made a really good point. He says, 
it's always when that sun starts to come through and yeah those last two big ones it's definitely getting brighter out and it's overcast conditions and again you got to mimic the sky with what lures you're throwing but that's why this color does so well is because it's good for a bunch of different situations it's good for overcast because the sky is gray and it's nice that this isn't super reflective because it actually looks pretty natural right now and then in the dark conditions it glows so it has a little bit of that luminescence to it and then on a bright day it's white <laughs> so it's definitely a versatile color if i were to have one color it would definitely be this one Ooh, it's a solid one. Another solid one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, he hit it when I was least expecting it. Now he's coming in. There's constant pressure on him. Oh, he hit it hard. That was nice. What a great take. Again, just slowed down that retrieve. Oh, he, yeah, he's not going anywhere. That lure was a third of its body in this perch's mouth. Look at this. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you want them to eat it right there. Look at that. That's how you want them to eat it. Oh, what a great take. Yeah, way down in his mouth. Woo! Fish number four on the Kalisa. I did get one in the eye earlier and I missed probably two other bites. So it's definitely attractive to the perch, that's for sure. All right, so Bob switched to the glow sardine. Yeah, this has just been a really good day so far. It's definitely a, a real welcome back to the surf. My last video was kind of a whim coming out here. And uh, this time we're intentionally coming out, spending some time out here, putting some time in with the Kalisa. And guys, it's, it's been really cool to be involved in a project like this. We uh, sent Kalisa uh, Glow Sardine. Thank you so much. I believe it was Jose Garcia who sent us uh, one of his lures and we sent it so we were able to get a color that produces. Yeah. Guys, look what Martin just pulled up. Oh, man. He tied on the Kalisa too. Woo, swallowed the whole back trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I ran just to keep up with him. Man. Oh man. That's a tank. Oh, man. At least 13. Yeah. Measure him right now. Solid. So show the hook set. Show show the show how how he ate it. Deep throated. Mmm. Team Kalisa, baby. Way in there. Alright, so Steve's gonna throw a brand new one right now. Hopefully you can get one. But he's throwing it on uh what is that? 12 pound mono? Eight pound. Just like our old buddy Ian. But braid is the way to go. We recommend 30 pound braid with a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Tie it with either a double uni or what I tie is a FG knot. I'm too lazy, I tied it on the braid. <laughs> quick, quick setup. I'm and, going down uh, to the oh. to a, a barrel swivel. Yeah. I just needed something quick. You just get a shorter leader that way, but. I'm going town today and buy a real. But when you do an FG knot, it's really small and it goes through the guides really well. Oh! Another one! Oh, I just got back from untying that other one. Oh! That's a good one! Bob says that's big. 
It's creating some action on this rod. Oh yeah. This Okuma Cielo is awesome. Oh yeah. So I'm on a nine foot six Okuma Cellulo. And uh, man, this thing launches it. And when you get that head shake, this rod absorbs it really well. Oh, it's a solid fish. Another good one. Another good one. Ate it good too. Oh, yes! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah! That's a male. What? On fire. on fire! Fish number five, and literally that was like the second cast after catching that other one. Man. I'll show you on the big camera, but it's got some really cool markings. Go ahead and use my other rod. My other rod has braid on it. Check out this pattern. It's got like a black chest. Look at that black chest on this thing. Wow, it's a nice fish. Yeah. I've noticed typically the males are the ones with the black chests. What's going on, Bob? Bob said he's gonna put the cleats on. No feathers on your treble? Nope, no feathers on the treble. Just stock? Just stock. The only reason why is because I think the bottom of this is rusted out. I don't, oh. I don't, I don't like it. Okay. I'm gonna switch. All right, do it. You're uh, on fire. Dude, this thing's killing it. You're on fire. <laughs> Bob switched into the Kaliso, let's see how he does. He threw the Lucky Craft probably 20 casts in about the same area, so we'll see. He's switching over though, because he wants to catch some. Why fix what ain't broke? See if we can keep this going. Oh, one thing I did not talk about is that it rained hard yesterday. It's been rainy and it's just a matter of luck that my day off this week happened to land on today, which there's no rain in our forecast, but it just goes to show that these fish will bite even if it rained heavy the day before. So it doesn't really affect them too much when it comes to rain. If anything, this proves that rain actually helps. We got a couple good bites today. Bob caught his first fleece of fish. Oh, that's sick. He got it, it was a good one, huh? 12 inches? Sweet! Hear that guys? Bob just caught his first Kalisa fish. That's legit. Yeah, this is definitely a confidence booster in that new bait. We're pretty stoked about it. Super stoked to be so involved in its creation and it's definitely catching fish. It's going to be putting food on our tables. So we're happy. This is, this is awesome. Ooh, got one. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. Oh, yeah. He angry. Angry fish. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Oh, he took it. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. This is fish number six. Fish number six on the Kalisa. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, he got the back treble and swung around. <laughs> yes! 
Look at that, folks. Oh, a solid catch right there. Another one with a black chest. Another solid one. <laughs> so, gra grabbed it in the mouth. Middle treble swung around, got him in the fin. So it was a tough fight bringing him in because his body was going against the current. Oh, that's a solid fish. That is a solid, solid barred surf perch on the Kalisa. All right, you guys are probably tired of hearing that now on the Kalisa, but it's true. Results do not lie. And Bob actually caught his first on the Kalisa too over there. So let's just say it's doing pretty good. Solid fish guys, solid. All right guys, the clouds have come in actually thicker now. So it's like, barely any sun penetration and I was still able to manage to catch that one fish man this is this is an awesome time guys <laughs> I heard you got your first Kalisa fish that one lost one lost one like 15 feet away from me you lost one yeah right in front of me Damn. and I had another bite nice but yeah Good. We're saying peace out to Martin. He has to be somewhere. He's got to go pick up his brother-in-law. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna drop him <laughs> off and go fishing again. <laughs> That'd be nice. But it was so good fishing with you again today. Oh man. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Why you want to? This is the next big you thing. You need an afternoon you got, session. Just wait and see. Just wait and see. Wait and see. Be the next big thing. All right, we're at the next spot. Just dropped off Martin. Round two. Oh, first cast! First cast! First cast, guys! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, yeah! First cast! So we were driving by and we could see a lot of dirt being moved around or a lot of the sand being kicked up by the crashing waves. And that's what you want to see too. And you want to be able to cast behind the waves that are kicking up that sand because that's what's stirring up all the food for these perch. And then you can go through all the sand that's settling and as it's settling, the fish can see your lure. Oh yeah, I got him. Got a good one. That's crazy, that was the very first cast after moving. Nice fish. Yeah, these hooks are super sharp and they're the stock hooks that come on these Kalisas. Solid. Yeah, it swung around, got him. Probably another 12, 13 incher. <laughs> That's so dope. So sick. Another one. <laughs> that was crazy. Very first cast after dropping Martin off. Got this quality fish to bite. Man, the takes when you're throwing plugs, unbelievable. So fun. There it is, guys. Nice solid fish. Yeah, that was fish number seven. Today's a good chance to limit out, that's for sure. These waves are forming really nicely. Gotcha. Got another one. It's number eight. <laughs> On fire, number eight. <laughs> number eight. It's like NBA Jam. He's on fire. Woo. 
there he goes, right past Bob. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. Another one. Can't keep him off this thing. <laughs> man, it feels so good to get on a good bite. This is fish number eight, guys. And we really haven't been fishing that long. We probably started fishing about three hours ago. But to be able to catch a limit almost in three hours on a jerk bait, that's a pretty darn good day. Pretty good, and it's not even over yet. This is sick. As soon as I turned off the camera, Steve started screaming because he just lost one. Man, found a good spot, that's for sure. Bob just missed another one. Oh, I'm just telling them that you missed another one. You see all this sand turning up? It's good. Oh! Oh! Solid! Oh! <laughs> Number nine. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so good to be back. It's so good to be back. Yeah. Oh, back to the surf, baby. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Woo <laughs> Oh, it's a fatty. Oh yeah, that winter bite. That winter bite is coming. Actually, it's kind of already here. <laughs> Man, that's number nine. Oh, unbelievable. Ah, so it's, it's number nine. Steve's in the back of the truck. <laughs> He's uh. He's actually gonna switch up uh, reels. Remember guys, friends don't let friends skunk. Steve, you're more than welcome to use my Daiwa BG. I said you're more than welcome to use my Daiwa BG. This one? Yep. Whoa. Oh. Smelt. Smelt. Oh yeah. Oh. I just missed one right now. Whoa! Whoa! Dude, it knocked, it knocked the drag out of the spool. Wow. That was a monster bite. Jeez. All right, well, this is the limit. Woo. Wow, that's a good one. <laughs> wow. That's a fat one. Beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh. Perch limit on the lucky crap. Oh, just kidding. Not the lucky crap. The Kalisa. <laughs> Super go sardine. Oh boy, that was awesome. Guys. We put on a clinic today. Oh man, clinic, absolute clinic. Limit out on the Kalisa. This is the first limit on the Kalisa. And it happened to be the Super Glow Sardine. Oh, this is, this marks a momentous time. Really cool time in the channel. Really cool time just in life in general. 
Life is good, guys. Life is good. Awesome. Steve got one! Steve got one! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! On the borrowed reel. Yeah, because he was throwing eight pound tests. And it wasn't going out far enough. So he used my reel on his rod. And now he's got one on. Land it, Steve. Land it. Oh, look at him running. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Friends don't let friends skunk. <laughs> it's a good one. That is a good one. Oh. Very nice. Your wife's gonna like it. Oh yeah. It feels good to get a fish. <laughs> he nailed it. Oh yeah, he did. What you got there, Steve? My first perch of the day. On the Kalisa. My first perch. Yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. All of a sudden, you're getting them. I got two, two bites. <sighs> Missed. Solid, another there she one. Is. Beautiful. Look at that. Now it's way in. Way in there. Kalisa. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Putting Steve on some fish. That's great. There you go. Bob's got one. Number two. Number three, actually. On Number three on the Kalisa? Okay. Back, back to back. Back to back. One little guy and now another keeper. There it is. We'll take it. Oh, he ate it hard. Oh, he ate it hard. <laughs> <laughs> so we're off the water now, and Bob took us to one of his clients places and we are gonna munch on some tacos look what bob got i got two tamales with fried eggs on top with beans and rice Dang. oh yeah that's how it's done right there that's how that's how we do it buddy some asada tacos for steve very good oh yeah and then this so and then this and then asada and coming strong today al pastor and lengua <laughs> so when you catch all the fish, you build up an appetite like this. So Ed put the clinic on today, so obviously he's putting the clinic on at lunch today now too. So I didn't think they were going to be this big, but anyway, the water got kind of rough. Well, no, the water was fine, but the wind started kicking up and then we started getting sprinkled on. Steve started shivering. He's still kind of wet. Oh yeah. 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 So, Hunger yeah. over comfort <laughs> at this point, but we're going to enjoy. But thanks for, for watching guys, the Kalisa. Proved itself today, Knocked big it. time, Knocked big it. time. Knocked it. Yep. Bob caught a couple on the Kalisa. Steve caught a couple on the Kalisa. So did Martin. And uh, it was just a really, really good day. So we'll catch you on the next episode. But hopefully this helped you guys. Later. Oh my God! Can't keep them off of the Kalisa. <laughs> Seriously, can't keep them off. Oh my gosh. Ha 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 ha!